All right, so we created this reactor point and applied it to a surface. Uh, now I'm going to create another or sort of add on to the existing one that we have. Um, so I'm going to control tab back to my reactor point. So once you have this, you could really go in and create some more three-dimensional work. We just created um, a circle here with a line. If I pick this line and I change that to a reference line and then I just double check that it's still you know connected to that, which it is, um, I can extrude this so by selecting it and going to create form and that's going to extrude that guy up. Now I can now make this dimension permanent by selecting the top of that cylinder and set a parameter on that, H for height, make that an instance parameter and click OK. Now if I go to my family types dialog box I can then say that that is our EP, you know, times 0.25 click OK. So now I have this height here that's now being adjusted by that. So if I go to File, Save As, Family, I'll save this as Circle 3D and I'll load that into Project. So it comes in and it wants to place that 3D circle and I could place it in here but what I can also do is I can pick this existing two-point component and because both of those are two-point components I should be able to come in here and select the 3D one and it will flip them out. So we'll see the radius should stay the same but then the heights should also get smaller. Now you'll notice that it's taking quite a long time to sort of regenerate this. Well it's a three-dimensional piece, right? So there is that piece. And let's pick this guy and flip it. And I just pick that guy to flip it because it's going upside down. So it's going to take a while to regenerate that. So it'll flip it. And the way you do that is you come in and just tab select one of them and it'll give you a flip option here to do that. So now we have a three-dimensional version of that. Okay. Um, <clears throat> there's a couple of other things you can do um, and we'll look at maybe creating an angle one in the next. Okay.